<laughs> the face of disgust. <laughs> right. Have you been keeping up with the news in regards Most to the new? Yeah, in regards to the new consoles. What is your opinion on this impending launch or this dysfunction of this impending launch? If I was in the market to buy a new console at the minute, I wouldn't know what I'd buy. Because mm -mm. <laughs> no. I don't really know much about either of them, to be honest. No. But, no. You know. Have we ever been this close to a system launch before and known so little? No. Admittedly, okay, so... I don't think so. No, I, I can't remember it because usually uh, if a machine's coming out at the end of the year, we usually know by at least, you know, the latest July, all the deets about it, what games we're getting, the launch dates, the fucking pre-orders. Uh, Microsoft's only just announced all their information, um, what, three days ago at the time of this recording? Have they announced all of the info on the Series S? Because yeah, um, I think so. I was watching something the other day where they were going on about the features that are missing. It, it will still have ray tracing, the same CPU, blah, blah, blah. But it'll, um, it's got a smaller hard drive, isn't it? Yeah, Five, half the size. 512 gigs. Mm -hmm. um, Which obviously you're not going to get the whole thing. I, I can't remember what it is with the GPU, but obviously it's not as powerful. It ain't um, capable of doing the 4K... 60 kind of power that the <clears throat> Series X can do. I can't yeah. remember much else about it, to be honest with you. Right, so basically the and Series it's cheap. X... It, yeah, I give it that. It is cheap. The Series X is obviously the big boy. Um, that comes with a terabyte. And it's got 12.20 um, teraflop uh, GPU. So it's quite, quite nice and chunky. And that can do 4K up to 120 frames a second and when they first announced that it's like 120 frames a second you're like yeah fuck off there's no chance you're going to get to 120 frames a second but apparently yeah there are games that are doing 4k 120 now the xbox series s oh and the x is it's 500 dollars. i believe it's going to be 450 yeah i About think that, so uh so you know that that's a fairly <sighs> Fairly expensive machine, but it, it's what we. I don't expected. think it's too bad a price, really. It's it's, um, it's not stupid money. It it's not like not for um, what you're getting. No, you're getting a nice machine. It's not like uh, when the PlayStation Three came out and they said six hundred quid, which and that was back then as well. Like, precisely you know. that that was about eight hundred of pounds in today's money. It was it was insane. Now the Series S is uh, two hundred and forty nine ninety nine. Which is really Which is attractive cheap. for a next-gen system. 30 quid cheaper than a Switch. Right. And, yeah, I mean, the CPU is the same, apart from... It's like a 100 megahertz or 200 megahertz slower, which really... Yeah, it's only a little too bit. Much. It's not yeah. much. It's not going to make too much difference at all. The SSD being 512 gig as opposed to a terabyte, I think that's going to sting. Um, down the line, you can. The, the, the SSDs are expensive, aren't they? The priority ones that go in the console. Yeah, they're two hundred and two hundred and twenty dollars, which for a Gen Four, <laughs> yeah, mate, for a Gen Four um, SSD uh, NVMe, that's actually a quite a good price. <laughs> believe it or not that's... it's not that it's expensive but you've got to look at these things in terms of consoles isn't you yeah because I think... like if you're buying a console you don't expect you have to pay 200 and some odd quid to no i mean the, the, the memory cards out. that's right the memory cards are nearly the price of the system again mm -hmm. the thing is you can store your games on a local hard drive uh you can store them on a hard drive uh, your Series X games, but you cannot play them off the hard drive. So you can store them on you a terabyte. You have to like move and over yeah, when you want to yeah. play them, basically. But your backwards compatible games from your 360 and, and older, you can play those off a mechanical drive. Mm. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Now, the GPU in the Series S, 
only has a third of the power of the Series X. It's four teraflops as opposed to 12. That's big. It also has less memory uh, RAM. It's I think it's got 10 gigs of RAM as opposed to 16. What power was the One X? The One X was six teraflops, but you can't, as the developers have said, you can't compare the two because although the new GPU is four teraflops, it's monumentally faster than than what was in the um, uh, Series X because it's a whole different One architecture. X. One X. Oh, fuck. You're getting confused I already. Naming. I hate the naming. Microsoft is shit. It's crap. It's awful how how do they get the simple things wrong the next every video i watch talking about this stuff they're like oh on the one x no sorry no uh series x series yeah. oh no 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 the series s yeah. or the xbox one s sorry i'm, I'm like it's like, <laughs> it's like I'm well about. when i bought that xbox today i went in and said oh can i have the xbox in the window and she's like uh the xbox one i said uh no and then i said oh the xbox one and she's like, yeah, okay. And she, I was like, oh, shit, no, sorry. I mean, the OG Xbox. Yeah, the, the original Xbox. Oh, my God. Not the first one, no. which would be the Xbox One. Oh, how do they... <laughs> oh, man. I would say the naming's pathetic, but that's an understatement. That How can a company like Microsoft fail so bad on the naming of their systems? It is Do you know, people, people brag on nintendo for the wii and mm. the wii u naming but you know what i actually even think even that's better than, than the way microsoft's doing it well, yeah because at least the wii u it's really like confu- it is actually confusing that's to people like us who actually keep up with this shit yeah imagine if you're just a normal person who's imagine looking at all these different one. xboxes and they're like oh i want to oh hang on a minute i got a series x or a one x mm. or an s or a series, or a s. series s <laughs> oh, you know, it's, mm, oh. which one would I go for? And it's like, you know, wait, Xbox One or Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. Which one's newer? You know, try and picture yourself as a soccer mum here for a minute. Oh, it's a fucking mess, mate. It's a, <laughs> it's a joke. And people moan about PlayStation, PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, uh, PlayStation simple, Three. Straightforward. Which it's the fifth know, one? Number five. Exactly. Well, if, <laughs> if that was the Xbox, the fifth one would probably be the fucking first one. And, you know, number four Xbox would two be, be next. Oh, yeah. it is, it's actually cringy. It's embarrassing. When they first announced the name Xbox Series X, I was... Oh. Do you know the worst thing, though, is they've oh. paid someone a lot of money to come up with that. Oh, yeah. More money than we'll ever see. I know. But once again, like, the, the, I can't remember if it was this one or the one before or whatever, but... but why don't they use their code names as the actual names? Yeah, like the names Scarlet are cool. for you know uh, what was that the one X, wasn't it? It was Scarlet. Uh, um, yeah, uh, no, and then Project Scorpio. One of them. Oh no, no, that was. Oh yeah, Scorpio. Sorry. Was there? And Xbox then one Scarlet X. was something. I Scarlet. Can't remember what it was now? I think Scarlet was the. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. I can't remember now, but I think Scarlet was the. Um, xbox series s and anaconda no lockhart was the series s anaconda was the <laughs> the fucking big boy basically they're all better than the actual names anyway yeah, the same with, in a way same with playstation because the playstation 4 pro was project morpheus if i remember correctly or was that yeah, vr i think the vr it, was, it, was morpheus but like but, they have these cool names for these things and they just make a really boring one it's yeah like, it, it's bizarre isn't it i mean yeah anaconda lockhart and scarlet yeah i'm sure actually scarlet was the xbox one x project i think scarlet. It, I, i'm sure it was it was wasn't it yeah I'm it was sure when they were was. first talking about it they're like we're gonna have project scarlet it's gonna be really powerful yeah it was because yeah. then and then they said um because the Scorpio engine was the chip that powers it, which is why they said Project Scorpio. It, it, it's some bullshit like that. But Nintendo had some. Remember. Nintendo had some really cool names as well, like you know the the Wii U. No, the Wii was the Revolution. Revolution, yeah, that was cool. And the N sixty four. The GameCube had a really shit name though. It was Project Flipper. Dolphin. Oh, that was it. Dolphin. Yeah, yeah. Flipper was one of the chips. Uh, but the N64 was the Ultra Ultra, Ultra 64. 64. That sounds cool. Ultra Way better. 64, yeah. 
What was it's called? Ultra. It means yeah, it's better. Ultra. Although the Wii U was a bit naff. It was Project CAF, wasn't it? Remember that? Project CAF. Yeah. What? Mm. <laughs> And PlayStation 4 Still, was, was you know. well, PlayStation 4 was Project Orbis, which was weird, and apparently eventually Orbis became the name of the operating system. Um, and, and the Xbox One, yeah, was the Direct Xbox, which was where it got its name from. See, that made sense. It's, it's powered by DirectX, so we call it the Xbox. It's just, you know, when they made extra consoles, they fucked xbox 360 they could have got away with xbox 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 360 yeah okay and then xbox one what i remember do you yeah, remember I, 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 if they had someone like us on their like board and they're like oh we need to come up with a name you literally just go to cool th- things that are called cool things you go mm. well let's call it the falcon the or, phoenix or, or, or something xbox you know terminator or something yeah you know it, it's so much easier to come up with a half decent name. And then you look at the um, the revisions for the Xbox 360. You had like yeah, Valhalla and Falcon and stuff like that. It's like cool names, all these internal code names, and the actual machines, something shit. How do they market that? Because surely these companies have to sit down and right here's our product that we want to sell to people, and it's got to be clear. I think they are oh, fucking hell. Can you imagine? That's why I mean, I don't. Uh... I don't fucking understand. I'm waiting to see if if Nintendo ends up bringing out another Switch, be it a Switch <sighs> Two Pro, whatever. What they're gonna call it? Because the... I honestly don't see them mm. getting away from the Switch name. Because I honestly think they haven't learned anything, and they'll think oh, the Switch is really popular. So it'll have to be the Switch again. It'll have to have the Switch name because people now know what a switch is you mm-hmm. ask anyone really mm-hmm. oh do you know a nintendo switch like oh yeah they're cool so i don't think they're going to go away from that i think it'll be the switch something i don't, I don't know who knows ultra switch or something nah it, it won't be something cool or, or flashback to the old systems yeah if it was going back to the old systems a super switch would be probably a, a better one i like that though super switch that's cool yeah well um, yeah but they won't go with that no 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 <laughs> it'll, be, it'll, it'll be called like the switch the switch Wii or... <laughs> yes. you know and the advert you can see it now it'll be um bowser the new guy with no personality just going I, I'm Doug Bowser. Come, yeah. switch on. <laughs> or something. <laughs> I can actually see you know? that. Switch on, yeah. Oh, Jesus. I haven't even seen... I don't think I've seen them since they had that... It was, I can't remember if it was the reveal of the Switch or what, where they actually introduced him in the direct, and they were like, you know, I'm Doug yeah. Bowser. He's and definitely been more I don't think I've round. seen him in anything since, from what I remember. No, because... What was he? Called? The old guy called Owata. He was quite in the Osatoro public Wata. Yeah, he was Owata-san. in a lot of um, their press releases and stuff. He was quite a front man, and so was uh, Reggie. But I, the thing is, I hate to say these things, but since Iwata and Reggie have gone, Nintendo it isn't the same. It, it's they're not, just not. No, no. they've become not. Apple. It is. It's like they got Steve Jobs in charge now. Yeah, it, like. Let's take everything that made Nintendo kind of that Nintendo-ish and all the character and quirkiness of being a Nintendo, and it's just dull. Everything's just everything looks more professional, and they are definitely more corporate now than they used to be because they they yeah. do resemble more of a proper company rather than hey, you know, we've got this great launch game called Nintendo Land where you fucking yeah. play these silly little mini games or. Wii Sports or whatever. Although, actually, no, saying that, they had one, two switched, and they, for the Switch, it was absolutely god awful. We pretend yeah, to yeah. toss off a cow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Everyone wants to do that. <laughs> I remember the adverts for that, man. It was or, so funny. or sit still with it, like, you've got to hold it still and turn the Joy Con around. That sounds so fun. <laughs> it was terrible. I remember that. How many game. marbles are in there? Oh, yeah, this, this is so much fun. I can't believe how much fun I'm having. And it didn't work either. It didn't work <laughs> at all. I remember... Well, no, the um, HD Rumble's like kind of cool for what it is, but it's just not... I mean, if, if it isn't there, it just doesn't matter. No. <laughs> it really doesn't. And, and talking about 
the soulless kind of feel of the machine it's interesting because i've I've been playing a lot of the uh 3ds and there's so many cool little like nods with that system there's so many little details like the music even like you said it before when you download a game you've got the little like beads going across and when a a game has downloaded it's a little present on your home screen you got unwrap Mm. it and and the music the store music and there's all these little Nintendo quirks to it, and the, the coolest is thing just... for me was definitely when I did that system transfer, and you have the Pikmin carrying all your files from one 3DS to the yeah. other one. I just thought that it was just completely pointless, but that's that's what makes them them mm-hmm. is these silly little quirky things that they, you know that they have and. Yeah, I mean, you know, even when you go back to the GameCube, you had that music uh, when you had no disc on, that kind of like really... Uh, ambient. Yeah, sort of. it was ambient and it was so relaxing. I used to leave that music on and just like go to sleep Well, it's it. actually, um, oh, I can't remember was... the name of the, the song now. It's that song that's used in like loads of Nintendo games where it's yeah. like a nine note ditty. I can't remember what it's actually called now, but it's that like really, really slowed down. Mm-hmm. Um, there's the actual menu music or something if I remember correctly yeah and and even like the uh, the sounds when you flick between the different menus and stuff it had that really like bottom bottom kind of like feel to it and it was so smooth and nice and yeah, yeah. like when you opened what was that your memory card or something yeah and and uh, there was those Easter eggs like if you held down different buttons on boot you get different boot sounds and things you could get the really rare one if you had four controllers connected and i think you had to hold hold the z button on every one of them when you turned it on so it required basically two of you unless you turn it on with your foot or something yeah, and lick one of them and it, yeah. and it had that all the notes were different sounds yeah instead of yeah because i remember you know, the, these little secret things i remember the first time i turned it on and i must have pushed one of the button combinations and the load up it was a dog barking i was like what the fuck that was so weird, <laughs> yeah, like barks to each like little note. Um, yeah, just quirky little things, and they continued that over to the Wii as well. The Wii... Yeah, but same I was thing. looking at, um, on our group, just uh, some of the things that people were talking about that they missed from the Wii days, and as much as the Wii wasn't like my favourite console by any means, oh. when people talk oh. about it, I'm like, actually, it had some real fun little things, but like I had the weather channel, yeah. the everybody votes channel did you ever look at that that was cool where it'd be yeah. like what's your favorite thing today is yeah. it steak or yeah. fish or yeah. something some completely random i um, do remember but, that actually hmm. uh, i'm trying to think what other channels people were talking about there was loads of quirky ones that, that came out and i, I yeah. didn't even really remember i was like oh yeah it was cool actually the same with the Wii U. Like, I've, I mean, I actually got to use Miiverse, but uh, oh, I never saw it. It was so. It really was. It's so good. Yeah, I'm still gutted that they got rid of it. But I don't understand why they that. didn't. Because everybody loved the Miiverse. Why they never carried that over um, to the, the 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 fucking Switch is beyond me. But anyway, I, in, we, go on. I think it's one of the best things they've come up with yeah. for Donkey's years. As much as the online still Nintendo crap online, mm. the Wii U could do it can't anymore. But it did uh, video calling yep. it, uh, with the Miiverse. As I said, they had all these things like art competitions, I separate groups for chatting about separate games, and um, it it was just such a cool like way of getting information and news and stuff it was just it was just cool yeah and yeah the fact that they didn't think oh we'll put that on the switch or whatever i'll find a way because i don't know can you actually communicate with anyone on the switch i don't think you can can you uh i have no idea because i don't because voice chat is basically non-existent no um there's the mobile app but that only supports like a couple of games anyway and it's shit no i've i've tried using it once for mario kart and yeah it's yeah it's crap the only the only thing that i can think of the only way that i've communicated with other people on the switch is when i've played i thought i was being shouted at them um animal crossing and that you physically have a keyboard come up and you type you messages type oh, it. it's fucking shit man i feel like i'm playing half-life like you know back in 1998 on my pc 
you know playing the mods for that where you could you had the little text chat it, it's really bad uh, the thing is the psp when when did the psp come out that was like 2006 or 2005 that had voice chat the playstation vita had voice chat i, I don't know oh, it's nintendo man um, I, I honestly don't know i don't know i think I, at the end of the day though it's been out for three years and when it first came out everyone was kicking off about the lack of voice chat and all the rest mm. of it but now no one seems to give a shit no it's like oh it's it's it is what it is and no one seems to really worry about it anymore pretty much i mean i don't really play a lot of multiplayer anyway to be honest like i play single player oh, games neither do i um you know uh i one thing i was surprised about the switch is it has got the screenshot um capability and you can record 30 second cl video clips as well i was very surprised yeah. that it had that built in um, oh oh that's another thing because obviously i was telling you about all these cool things that are on the hacked wii u that you can yes, uh, install yes. on it i can't remember where i actually found it now but you can install a screenshot functionality to the wii u that's the cool. same as on the on the switch that's very obviously cool. it's on a hacked one it's not you know natively there but yeah it's just a little com button combination and it takes a screenshot so the system does have the ability yeah. to do it it's quite interesting um yeah i mean kind of going back to the original point about where do they i can't go remember from what it was what was uh, it we were talking about uh where did nintendo go from here <laughs> and that's it there's so many rumors about, you know, one thing that I'm surprised that they never did, maybe they will, because there's all this talk of a Switch Pro, and I was watching Spawnwave Media, I believe, um, one of his videos, he was mentioning this as well. What if the Switch Pro is an actual um, dedicated console only, um, with a little bit more power in it? Just because, uh, did you hear that Nintendo, the rumor is that Nintendo's telling, I think it's basically in confirmed now behind the scenes, that Nintendo's telling its developers and people making games for Have the games now, 4K ready. Yeah, 4K yeah. ready. So, I mean, obviously, yeah, I've seen that. Up something. I mean, they must be cooking up something. Um, and um, it was something I saw today where there was a chat on Twitter between a developer, I can't remember who it was, and mm -hmm. someone. And they said something like, um, uh, they were talking about the PS5 release of a game or something. And they said, oh, but I'll, I've already got the Switch version, but I'll have to buy that one for the, you know, better version or whatever. And the developer put, you never know, Nintendo might, you, like the way they worded it was mm. like, they know that something's coming. Um, I could, don't quote me on it, but it's along those lines where the developer basically kind of says that something's in the pipe work something has to be in the Nintendo. pipe work um, yeah the, the thing is though uh, if they keep it in the Switch family then obviously it's going to use the X1 um, I guess but the X1 the, there's no chance in Wouldn't... hell the X1 I mean I, I don't know anything much about like system on a chip things but if they used a a more powerful new if it be version. x2 or what i don't know would yeah. it support the games that are made for x1 if you know what i mean well, like backwards compatibility basically it should do because it's arm art architecture it's just the arm cores are a lot faster and a lot more powerful kind of like playstation you know going from playstation 4 to playstation 5 they use x86 so the switch if nintendo's clever and sticks with arm which i'm well if they're going to go for a mobile base I, I think they will it has to be ARM. Um, and also, if they stick with a NVIDIA chip, then it's still going to be CUDA technology powering it. So, yeah, I mean, uh, there's no reason why they can't bring make the systems backward compatible. And, and if they keep with ARM and NVIDIA chips, there's no reason why they can't have native backwards compatibility. Uh, and all these games that have... Um, variable resolutions and stuff like that kind of are perfect for it because obviously the new system will be so many games on the switch are made with that in mind because mm -hmm. um I, i'm trying to think of a game that isn't even the likes of mario odyssey as much as it's like 900p 
it does drop down to keep yeah. the frame rate consistent. Yeah. So, yeah, a game like that could just run flat out 1080p at all times, all times. because it's got the power there to do it. Right. Uh, um, Breath exactly. of the Wild, another one, it's 900p, but it does fluctuate to keep the frame rate, you know, steadier. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, look, look, most of Nintendo's sort of main games are made with that in mind anyway. Even the likes of The Witcher and um, mm -hmm. Doom and whatever, they all flip Adapted between rest, resolutions. Yeah. It's going to so be it interesting. Could, it could be a possibility. I mean, you've also got to think as well, it's in a strange time uh, in its um, lifespan really, because it's three years in and it's... It is honestly too early to be talking about a next gen system, but if they bring out a pro system, I can definitely see it being a pro. Yeah, with like, the next people saying, "Oh no, the Switch Pro is dead. It will be another." I don't see that at all. I'm completely mm -hmm. opposite. I more than anything, if Nintendo is smart, they would keep the Switch name going. Yeah, probably phase out the Switch. Yeah, the and they introduce model. this new one. So they'll yeah. still have like the Switch Lite and they'll have this new one that'll be a bit more expensive, more powerful. But I think it still will be a mobile console. I think it will be basically what the Switch should have been in the first place. Yeah, I mean... Where it's a bit more powerful and whatever. But I don't know, they'll have a lot of kinks to work out because if it is, like some people are saying, as powerful as a PS4, I, I don't see how they... Feasibly, you can have a reasonable battery life on something that powerful with i don't know i don't know how it, how it works nvidia it is do that powerful. have nvidia do have a a a newer um soc i can't remember what it's called now i should have actually had a window and i'll be more prepared for the next video uh w they do have a more powerful soc they're using it for ai and deep learning and it actually has um ampere uh, architecture as well but the here's the thing i can't see them using that in a switch pro because that would be such a monumental jump it's not really a pro it's a new system you know um it's, it's they were hiring i think it was last year they had in the news that they were hiring for people to work on a new architecture yes they were um yeah. and basically the way they worded it was something because it was, uh, it, it did reference something to being for games consoles, mm -hmm. and obviously the yep. only games console that's using a, a Nvidia is the Switch yes. currently, because the yep. others are using AMD. Mm -hmm. So they might even have come up with a custom thing to use in the Switch, which they might end up using elsewhere. Mm -hmm. But the Switch is selling gangbuster numbers, so they might think oh, it's yeah. worth the punt to make a. A specific thing for uh, a switch revision or next yeah. switch whatever so basically go with nvidia and then get nvidia to yeah. come up with a totally custom chip for it I mean, nvidia definitely has the resources to do nintendo's that. got the money to throw at it nvidia's yeah. got the money to throw at it so yeah uh, i don't see it being you know. especially this partnership's been pretty good for them i don't yeah. know what nvidia is like um as a business partner in this way because now the original xbox was an x86 intel machine uh, and it also had an nvidia graphics card but that fell apart because um nvidia were really greedy and and they were not good business partners for microsoft which is why microsoft and the next system went amd um and there were rumors not that long ago that nintendo and nvidia had fallen out but that can't be true I, I don't know. I mean, this, this, mm. this, there's so many rumors. I, I, I would be, in an ideal world, I would like to see Nintendo stick with NVIDIA. Same architecture. Um, you know, it, it makes sense because it's, the, the X1 has been a really successful chip in the, um, in Switch. And realistically, looking back when the Switch came out, uh, even I've said it, the, the Switch was underpowered. But to make a powerful handheld back then, there was no choice. Uh, the X1 was the only SoC that mm. made sense. There wasn't anything more powerful. Uh, there were other chips, 
available from other manufacturers like Intel and AMD, but they weren't in the same. But the league. X2 was nearly there, wasn't it? And people, because yeah. before the Switch came out, they were there were rumours that they're actually going to be using the X2, but everyone said, "Well, no, because it's not actually been released yet. No. So why would they be using a chip that's ahead of the the curve, kind of thing?" Exactly, and the X1 so, and the X1 on the on the new, uh, I think it's seven nanometer. They they no, it's not seven. Nanometer, it's fourteen nanometer. I think they bought it out now, and it's really efficient so it's really good for battery life but and also the x1 because it's been in production for so long would have been cheaper at the time like the x2 would have been a very expensive chip to put in a new handheld i'm um, guessing now it's because the x1 is getting a bit long in the tooth very it might be so. getting a bit harder to actually manufacture because it's it's getting out of date now they everyone's wanting to move on probably to mm. you know the next thing i'm not really sure how so, chip manufacturing like that goes but maybe uh i mean that is one thing that makes uh producing consoles difficult because obviously the hardware is so obsolete um that a lot of the components aren't made anymore uh but the actual main cpus and stuff i i, I honestly don't know um but to see a portable switch that can output some kind of 4k uh it will be upscaled for sure I mean, I still think that original rumour that went around back at launch was the best thing, where they were saying it would be, like, whatever power went portable, and you'd be able to buy, like, a booster box, you know, kind of thing. You know, like, those outboard GPUs you can buy yeah. for laptops. Yeah. Like, you know, something like that, where it boosts the power and, and all the rest of it. Because if it had, a say, a more powerful uh, processor in that in it, but it was deliberately down clocked a lot when it was yeah. on portable mode mm -hmm. but as soon as you connected it at home it bumped it like way up and gave more graphical power and all the rest of it there's no reason why it couldn't run the same games at just uh, much better you know, higher resolutions and whatever yeah i mean so, i don't know it's still possibility and something like that because the technology's there it's been around for years oh yeah for sure so the thing is i remember there was a rumor that they were going to bring out a dock with like a, a was it a 1060 uh equivalent horsepower card and they, everyone looked into that and said yeah but the cpu would just bottleneck that to shit as it did no not happening um yeah. the the thing is the x1 is already massively cut down in the switch because they run it at one gigahertz now they nintendo originally said they're going to keep it at one gigahertz the speed to make sure game logic doesn't go out of sync and stuff like that because some programmers um, set the timing for the game up on the CPU clock speed. But people yeah. have hacked it and overclocked, and overclocked it, it. And they've shown that, that there isn't any examples that I can think of that games that actually use that method anymore. It's like with an old game console, like yeah, with the Dreamcast and um, like Super Nintendos and stuff. If you overclock them, the games run faster. Because the timings are, are set to the CPU, yeah. there's no evidence of that on the Switch. Uh, in fact, the performance boosts that people have got by running the X1 at its actual proper speeds are huge. You know, sometimes and as we said, like the games have been structured in a way where they adapt to yeah. the power output. Yeah, because um, so uh, the Switch is locked to one gigahertz, and that chip can do two point two, I think, something like that. That's a lot of extra juice um so yeah i mean maybe uh what i'd like to see from another switch kind of like what you were saying earlier like the next generation switch because um with this one they said it's it's a definite home console that you can take with you now it's not really it's so hamstring um because it's it's basically a handheld it actually feels like a handheld first because there's so oh, many absolutely yeah so what i'd like to see with a new switch is make focus it on the docked like home experience and then like you say drastically cut it back a lot more when you take it um on the go with you maybe i i don't I, know. I would love to see something like the switch light where it's an all-in-one no separate joy cons and that crap because they're yeah. just much better built the light is way better built than, yeah. than the original switch i love the light yeah and as i said it's small so it goes in your pocket easier it's better for you know taking around with you and that but easier. at home you have like you have like a a, 
a, I don't know, a box of some sort that you can slot it in, um, like the original Switch works, you know, like a mm-hmm. dock. And then once you're at home and you pop it in, basically you've got a home console that's, you know, basically all it's doing is reading the information off of your portable Switch kind of thing, yeah. you know, what games you've got, etc., cetera, et cetera. Mm. But the power is much higher when you're at home. Mm. Um, so because it only needs to run games at around 720p when you're on the go. It doesn't yeah. even matter if it's 720p. It can be lower than that. The rumours um, are because a lot, a lot of games do, do run lower than that anyway. Yeah, they do. Um, the the rumour is though um, that Nintendo's been looking at these new sharp uh, 1080p mobile screens though, haven't they? Uh, they were saying about that a while ago. They were really <laughs> nice. Expensive. That was an, it. Was another uh, rumour, wasn't it? That was last year, wasn't it? Yeah, when but that was, that was that. actually because like, everyone was straight away. Oh, Switch Pro is coming. Um, I mean, maybe it is. Maybe they were negotiating deals to get these new screens. Who knows? But yeah, these new yeah. screens of Pentax screen. Oh, I can't remember what they said they were now, but they're really high end screens. And um, the other thing I kind of thought about the other day was um, because the rumor was the Switch Pro was going to be announced. I could be wrong. Summer this year. That was the rumor. Uh, going yeah, around. there was that. The, the light was going to come out, and they were going to replace the Switch with a Switch Pro or whatever. Yeah. Yep. I remember that. Maybe it was going to happen, and COVID kind of put a stop to that because everyone has said that this year has been so dry on the Switch, yeah, like it, it has been really barren. Yeah. Maybe that's why. It's because yeah. they did have something set up, but they just couldn't do it. They, you know, they couldn't manufacture the new consoles or whatever because of COVID. It's certainly you know possible. It's possible. Yeah, absolutely possible because there was also those rumors that they Nintendo were. Um, coming up with a magnesium alloy body as well yeah 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 that was um, another thing i heard yeah which which would also be uh, significantly more expensive because uh, magnesium alloy is what microsoft makes the surface tablets out of and it's a very expensive but very premium uh, material it's really light and it's really strong and they were saying if they have a metal back to it, they can use that as the cooling as well, like a integrated heat sink, which mm. is actually what the Razer phone did. And it's what a lot of Samsung phones do as well. They use the back plate of the phone as a heat spreader, uh, which obviously you can't do that with plastic. So it makes a lot of sense. But if they're going to go for these high end screens and uh, this magnesium alloy body, that you'd have to be a switch pro or maybe the only other thing is if if that's what the next switch is going to be it's going to be an even more premium high-end machine if it comes out with i mean don't get me wrong screen. it could just be another console and it comes out in i don't know two years time yeah well yeah which is just as much possibility but i just i've always just thought that mm, i think they could because they could basically just stretch out the Switch lifespan for long. They said they wanted to anyway at oh, the beginning. Sure. They said yeah. they wanted the Switch lifespan to be long. Mm-hmm. So yeah, how do you do be. that? You you enable people to keep playing their original Switches and Switch Lights. They can <laughs> play that all the way through. And then they release this sort of mid-gen refresh or whatever you want to call it that's better. But ultimately, the people that have got the older ones can still play the, the games. Yeah, because totally. They will be made for both, but the new one will just play them better and they'll look nicer. This one, but other than that, it's basically the same. It's what Microsoft did, you know. But um, basically, PS4 Pro and One X, it's the same logic, isn't it? Really, but Nintendo, it just didn't work out very well for either of them particularly. But the Switch could maybe it'd be different just because of how bloody popular think, everything is for it. I think it would be, and people are. I mean, when the when the the ps4 pro came out and the the you know the xbox one x were people really desperate for a more powerful console probably not what's um, the thing the switch needs it <laughs> like rather than it yeah. being a, just a luxury it kind of needs it <laughs> yeah it does um it especially with the two new machines coming out which are yeah if they want to keep ports coming in very see that's powerful. where that gray area comes up of like say they do have a more powerful console that's on the same playing field as the original the ports that let's face it would only work on the newer one then yes 
I mean, there's only a certain amount of scaling back you can do. I mean, they can yeah, for sure. make Doom work on the original Switch, but it runs at a really low res and all the rest of it. Mm-hmm. If they brought out, I can't even think what a next-gen game is, whatever, the next fucking Call of Duty, whatever, that's running on the PS5, Yeah, they tried to pair that back to the original Switch. It just wouldn't happen. Mm-hmm. And... I mean, not only that, but they're, obviously they're going to be using different physics. And oh um, yeah, I mean, CPU I don't know if ray simulation. tracing would come into it. I, I suppose they just wouldn't. But like That's physics and AI and stuff is going to be using the more advanced consoles. I, I don't know. There's a lot to sort of bear in mind, isn't there? The thing is, ARM technology, ARM processors, uh, modern ones, are very powerful. Yeah, I mean, maybe they're not up to x86, but they're they're in the same ballpark. But the trouble is, the ones the Switch use are so old now. Um, but the thing is, Nintendo's done that before. I mean, look at the the new 3DS. The new 3DS, had, not many, but it had its own games that you couldn't run on the old um, 3DS. Xenoblade was one of them. Uh, the remake. I of think. That. See, that's another thing. Is they did that, mm-hmm. and it didn't really go so well. But it was done True. right at the end of the 3DS lifespan. Really, wouldn't it? Right. It had been out yes. a very long time. Everyone mm-hmm. already had the original one. Yep. And if they did this with the Switch now, because it's only sort of three and a bit years into the lifespan kind of thing, they, it might work out better. But it's... they're doing it sooner rather than later. Totally. It's it, if they're going to do it this year or next year would be the time to do it any later than that new system um but also they did it before the handhelds as well they did it with the ds because they did the dsi the dsi was more powerful and had its own games um, yeah it N64 had 64 expansion pack yeah yeah i mean they have done this didn't before. but you know gamecube was a failure though game it, gamecube was powerful enough from the get-go but it, it just was wasn't, it just wasn't popular was... anyway no, which is a shame because the GameCube is one of the Nintendo's great. best systems. It is. Uh, I was talking to Gabby earlier and uh, I was saying, so I bought, I've got this Xbox now and I've got the Kaiko cable for it coming. So I was like, oh, I've got uh, the Kaiko cable because they only make four. They make one for the GameCube, PS2, uh, Xbox and the Dreamcast. So I'm like, oh, they only do one other ones for the GameCube. I don't really give a shit about that. So, oh, the GameCube's awesome. It's like, yeah, but We've got a Wii U that plays GameCube games, and we've got a Wii that plays exactly. GameCube games. So yes, the GameCube is awesome, but I don't need one. Well, I've got one there, but it doesn't really disc, sadly. Yeah, GameCube's a fantastic system, uh, but the Wii is a better GameCube, <laughs> and the Wii U. Well, just awesome. for all intents and purposes, yeah, it is. yeah. And the Wii U's just awesome because and you don't even have, to have a disc in it, <laughs> no, no, or um, a memory card in it. Well, to be fair, it's the same on the Wii. It's really, really good. But, well, exactly. It's running off a of Wii on the Wii U anyway. Yeah, you know, but the Wii U has the advantage. Potatoes. The Wii U has the advantage of having that built-in HDMI. Because my TV, which is actually a 2017 model, um, or 2018, I can't remember, um, but that doesn't have any kind of uh, SCART or component or anything. It's just HDMI. Neither does I. I mean, Sony. I, you can probably. I mean, maybe you can buy an adapter. I don't know, but okay. yeah, having HDMI as standard is basically a must. It is these days, um, absolutely nowadays. Yeah, totally. Which is why I buy all these HDMI cables uh, from Kaiko. Very good, very good, way better than all the others. Um, but yeah, that's, that's in, yeah. My my new Sony as well only has HDMI. Uh, you would have thought mm-hmm. they would have held on to component. For longer but i mean yeah it's great you've got five hdmi ports but you can't do anything else to be, it, it to be honest with you, it's one of those things where to us it matters but mm. to the general public it doesn't who who plays anything on a component cable yeah. <laughs> yeah. right that yeah most that, of them don't that's... even have a console or a player or anything they just use <laughs> apps on the tv they, you're, you know then you're not so, wrong that is true you know yeah you can't yeah. really argue with that and that's why right. they sell these component hdmi adapters and whatever you say yeah there, there's a but ton of those um, yeah no it's interesting that yeah because i've got my old sony tv in there and it's it's kind of weird that i don't want to get rid of that because it's a nice tv it's a nice picture and everything you know it, it was what hi-fi five out of five it's about 10 years old now but it's got everything on it it's got component hdmi it's got scar and it, the scaler on it's really nice so 
when when we I'd were... be lying if I said I haven't looked at old TVs at times where I've yeah. thought, do you know, in my bedroom, I'd love to just have like a, a really nice old school, you know, like TFT TV or whatever. Uh, like, like one a... of the, uh, was it the Sony? Oh, what's it called? Is it the Megatron or, or some? I can't remember. Trinitron. It's some, Titatron, t- Trinitron, that's it. Trin- Trinitron, yeah. Megatron. It's a Transformers. Yeah, it, it was the, <laughs> like, I've, yeah, I've, the Trinitron uh, TVs. But the weird thing is they go for loads of money now because obviously know. people were wanting to buy like a decent um, CRT or whatever I know. to play I know. the older consoles on. I've looked um, myself. Um, the, one of the it best is ones... mad actually how much better older games do look on them. It is quite mad. Yeah, because I mean, the way uh, CRTs used to work and blur everything out, uh, a lot of games that were programmed in the past were built around that effect. Yeah. Uh, one and of you the play them ones... on a modern TV and they just look like shit. Yeah, I mean, one of the big ones was uh, Sonic 1, 2, and 3. The way the waterfalls in the background worked, they look wrong on a modern TV because the effect was specially designed to have it blur and haze with the glow of the uh, the CRT. And um, yeah. I was reading up about that. And Streets of Rage as well. A lot of Sega games use some very clever techniques uh, where you look at them on a modern TV and you're like, yeah, that's a... Yeah, it doesn't looks a bit rough. It doesn't can, look right. Yeah. No, no, but yeah, the filters. But that's why uh, a lot of emulator boxes and stuff you can now have the scan lines and and all that in. See, even when I had the HDMI N sixty four, I turned scan lines on mm-hmm. because it this it just made things look nicer on, on the TV. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. I, I never understood the whole uh, appeal to scan lines. But hang on a minute. Are you shouting me? Ah, oh, no, she, she's in there playing Destiny. She's all right. Um, oh, God. Uh, she loves it. She, yeah. I actually... I... <laughs> Someone was talking to me about Destiny at work the other day, actually. It was, uh, oh, it's my mate Ryan, that was it. And he was going on about um, just games that are not as good anymore. And I was like, oh, oh yeah. And he was like, oh, Destiny. And I went, oh, God, yeah, don't, don't fucking go there. Don't, <laughs> don't get me started. Don't like, yeah. There. I know, Rich. It was such a good game, wasn't it? <laughs> just like, I thought I can't, no. I can't destroy this boy's hopes and dreams. No. He, he he thinks it's a good game. Let him carry on thinking that. That's fine. Gabby but... loves it. <sighs> Destiny. I love it. No. It's your favourite game. No, it's not really. <laughs> yeah, she's she's the one. Halo is. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's the spirit. <laughs> Are you okay? What kind of fucking woman do you think I am? Yeah, fucking Destiny. <laughs> Casual game, that is. Casual. What? Hmm. Don't get a started, Ty. I'm not having you filming domestic abuse. <laughs> yeah, stop. Or get the Nerf guns out in a minute. Did you, you know want, she'll uh, be in there kicking your ass. She's, she's kicked my ass on Halo. But, yeah, you're, you're the best sniper on Halo. But then I always kick your ass on Gears of War, so swings and roundabouts. I still need to play Gears of War Five, actually. I need to play it all the way through. I, like it. I love Gears of War Five. You know, I I after the 360, I kind of went off Gears of War. It's like, ah, oh, they're all the same. Yes, you have. <laughs> that means we've got the Gears of War limited edition 360. Um, yeah, but I did play the original actually the the remake that they did on the xbox when i first got my one x and i really got back into it actually and i started playing gears of war 4 because everyone said oh gears of war 4 is a bit of a mere game but i played it. i thought it was fucking great i don't know i really enjoyed it it was fun the i sh- really played the first one I, I i played the second i can't remember a thing of the second one and i can't remember I... barely anything of the third one when i played it um, yeah. The first one I completed a couple of times. Mm. I remember I I did really quite enjoy that when it came out. Yeah, um, I actually had it on the PC though. I had that uh, whatever it was, definitive edition or whatever. Yeah, because on the PC it had an extra chapter on the end. Yeah, and it had um, what was it back then? DirectX ten support. I want to say something like that. It was a. It was a, like the dog's looker. nuts, you yeah. know, back then. It was a looker, but the remake that they did for the Xbox One, if you played it on the Xbox One X. It's gorgeous. 
it's it's 4k 60 fps it was yeah it was stunning um gears of war 5 uh, you know i must admit is one of the best looking games i've ever seen and that's on the xbox one x um gears is always they've always had that graphical fidelity though haven't they and uh it's just, yeah the gameplay is a bit <sighs> if you it's like fine it for what it is it's, it's like yes. playing an uncharted game all right. of the uncharted games are the same right yeah but I'd if agree. you enjoy that you're going to get more of what you enjoy if you you know if you i mean what more do you expect kind of thing really yeah. it's not going to go bending the envelope but, no you know. no I, I think that's fair um yeah, like Tomb Raider. You know, you know what you're getting into. It's That's fine. like me going, oh, I want the next Splinter Cell to be an open world RPG. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I, don't. Like, well, I want to be sneaking around again. <laughs> I want to be doing the same thing I've done several times on games before. Oh, on that note, God, I was fucking gutted the other day. They, because uh, they just had the Ubisoft Forward. thing, um, and there was a thumbnail on a YouTube video where it just said, "Oh, Ubisoft." Have announced new games for uh, Switch. That yep. had um, Sam Fisher. Yep, I know. I know what you can say. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Straight away, I was like, "The Splinter Cell Collection on Switch. That's it." Yeah. You know. And then when I saw what was actually announced, it's like Splinter Cell wasn't even remotely. Why was that in the thumbnail? <laughs> it it had was... nothing to do with anything. No, Sam Fisher was announced for uh, as an extra character. Oh, he's in a game or something, isn't he? Yeah, um, I can't remember. I, I was going to say Smash Brothers, but it's not Smash Brothers. Um, <laughs> they could. They, well, um, they, could, they could, actually. Um, no, he's... Oh, what was the game? Oh, let me look it up. It wasn't Ghost Recon or something, was it? No, why have I got Mass I know he was in Wildlands, wasn't he? Sam... You play a mission as Sam Fisher, Fisher or something. Why do I have McAfee as my search engine? Sam Fisher, Rainbow Six, yeah, Rainbow Six, it's been out, who cares? Like, well, you know, I mean, maybe, ugh, if you like Rainbow Six, then fine. Uh, it's not really my sort of game. I don't think if they did Sprint the Cell again, I don't think you'd like it. I, it, it wouldn't, once again, it's one of those things, it just wouldn't be the same as it was years ago. They haven't made right. one for years. Totally. Although I will say Blacklist, as much as, the only thing that's wrong with Blacklist is the fact that they didn't get Michael Ironside to do the voice. That's literally the only thing yeah. that's wrong with it. It's actually a good game, and it's a good Splinter Cell game at that. Um, they went back to the, you know, it's more in the dark, it's more about sneaking and all the rest of it. They did it right. Um, so, you know, in fairness, it isn't a bad game at all. Um, that was 20, uh, 20, I'm trying to think when that came out, 2015, I want to say. I can't so remember. So it wasn't that long ago a Splinter Cell game came out, but that one is just Five kind of forgotten years. about because Nearly it just six. wasn't, you know, like a proper yeah, sort of mainline one kind um, of thing. Because it, it was on the old consoles, that was the weird thing, because it was on Wii U, but it was on 360 and PS3. Yeah. Um, it came out on PC, but once again, it was just like, I don't know. Only the hardcore Splinter Cell people actually played it, I think. I can't really remember um, the last Splinter Cell game that I played. I think it was the one on the 360. Was it the... the when they modernized We had Double it Agent and, and no, it wasn't uh, Conviction uh, on the 360. Wasn't there one um, that was only on the 360s? Splinter Cell... 360. I said Double Agent came out quite early on the 360 because it was actually on the original Xbox, but they brought out the next gen version on the 360 and PS3. Well, according I to think. this article from Digital Trends, a new Splinter Cell game reportedly in the works with a release date planned for 2021. Information leaked by a voice actor. So maybe, but yeah, it's not going to be the same thing, is it? Right, Splinter Cell. Yeah, but Wikipedia. there was also that rumor which started. It wasn't even last year. I think it was the year before, where Michael Ironside had been to uh, Ubisoft. I don't know Montreal or whatever, Black and everyone was like, "Oh, they more. must be doing a new um, Splinter Cell game and all the rest of it." Hmm. But I think they were maybe recording the bits for that um, Ghost Recon. Where he just has like a cameo in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where he makes that comment about Solid Snake being dead and, you know, yeah. he's the only one left. Yeah. Right. 
this little jab at you know obviously uh, Konami and all the rest of it. I remember that. It's possible. Yeah, I'm thinking of Blacklist. That's the last one I played. Um, That's it. It's a good game. Uh, yeah. I'll, and to be honest with you, it's one of those games where I'm not being funny. It's actually, apart from PC, it's best on Wii U. Um, Is it? Yeah, it's the best version other than PC. Um, although, obviously, you can play it on Xbox One X now. So, yeah. technically, that would be like the best version. Yeah, but, um, the, best but the gamepad version. support for it is actually good. Because you actually, you know, select your weapons and gadgets and and control things with the gamepad and that. Like, it actually does work well. It was made for the console quite well. When they used the gamepad properly, it was a cool little addition. It really was. Um, uh... Yeah, but once again, it's another thing with me playing um, Deus Ex. Mm. Um, Human Revolution at the minute. Yeah. It's I one of those little game. things where it makes it so good to have, you have a nice size map. Mm-hmm. And your items and all that around the outside on the gamepad, so it's not cluttering up the screen, and you don't have to pause it to do stuff. But you can just press the button on the gamepad to do it. Yeah, like with Zelda menus and stuff. It's just one of those things where it does it works really well when it's actually used, you know, in a good way. Hmm. Yeah, and the, the HD remakes of Zelda, Twilight Princess, and Moon Waker, it was used really well. It was good. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's good. I and the gyro support's good for the you know bow and yeah. arrow and, and all really, that as well. Really good. Um, to the point where I wouldn't really want to play any other version of it. The Wii U version of those games is better. It just is. It's absolutely better. Um, I wouldn't. Can't argue with that. <laughs> no. Yeah, they are. There's no point in like going back to to playing it on the GameCube. A lot of people have been asking, because obviously they're doing the, this Mario 3D uh, thing, and it's the Zelda year next year, about yes. if it might be re-releasing the uh, Zelda games. I got my fingers It's like crossed. a collection. Please. I'd but love that. it's a lot more 3D Zelda games when you think about it. You've got Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess. <sighs> uh, what's... Well, I suppose they could maybe leave it at those. I suppose they could get away with doing four. Yeah, here's the thing: because Breath of the Wild obviously doesn't need to be included because that's you know it's on the console anyway. Yeah. Um, the thing is, I want as many of these games to come to the Switch as possible because then you've got them. You've got the Switch ARM version as opposed to the Power PC version. So there's no reason, as long as they stick with ARM, for all of these games to be forward compatible. I mean, the thing, the great thing with ARM architecture, it's not going anywhere. It's not like Power PC, which when the when the Wii U came out, well, Power PC was a dead architecture anyway. It has been for a long time. But ARM, there's no reason why Nintendo can't stick to that for a very, very long time. So all of these ports that they're bringing over, I can't see why they, they won't continue to be backwards compatible i could be completely wrong here but mm. obviously they're releasing mario 64 on the switch yes um and mario sunshine on the switch and mario galaxy uh-huh. and they're Very on this cool. timed release yeah. yeah yes yeah i have a theory and i hope i'm right but i'm probably wrong that they might actually be planning to release some kind of virtual console service next year mm. as of like march or you know you april reckon? whenever and they will actually start releasing some gamecube and n64 and maybe some wii games on there and i would like those that. will be games that will be released as separate purchases on there because um, um, the way nintendo works because they're just dumb shit <laughs> is they don't want to compete with themselves you know, like when they took Pikmin 3 off off the Wii U because, I mean, why? Didn't they bring that back, <laughs> though, after ages? Yeah, they just put it back. But there was actually, the thing is, there was a lot of outrage. It goes to show that there are a lot of people that do actually still have a Wii U. I mean, they well, might think no one's playing it, but people do. Yeah. Um, but there was a lot of outrage from, you know, like big youtube you know channels and that yeah, about the fact it. that you know it's just ridiculous why take it off mm-hmm. you know there's people that might still want to buy it and you're taking it off because you're releasing it for 30 quid more on the switch yeah and it's like nintendo has this problem with competing with themselves with their own platform it's like oh well we can't oh we can't sell it on the wii u because we want to sell it on the switch even though 
they own both consoles. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised if it was something to do with that. Hello. You, you put a load in the dryer and put the washing machine on. Thank you. You okay in there? God. Under the thumb. Under the thumb. How? Apparently, I'm under the thumb. <laughs> I'm watching you. I'm watching you. It means you're the boss. Yeah, I like that. You're the boss. Yeah. <laughs> and what? Of course, I fucking am. Leave it in the washing machine for three days. I do, yeah. I put the washing on and then forget about it. And then open the washing machine a week later. And it's, like, and it's all damp and minging. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I do it. And she's like... I do that. Yeah, oh, it's a man thing. We both do yeah. that. Apparently. I'll be like, I'll do the washing. <laughs> yeah. And I'll put it on in the morning. And then like two days later, she's like, you know, why is there no clothes? <laughs> it's like, oh, they're still in the machine. <laughs> yeah. I should have fucking done I washed it them though. I told you I'd wash them. And I did. Yeah, now they're mouldy and stinky. <laughs> yeah, it made them worse. That's what I did. Yeah. Yes, boss. Just mean to say that. You want to watch Cobra Kai later? All right then. Well, I better wrap this up, I suppose. How long do you think we've been going for? Ooh. I don't know. We've whittled on for a while. We've been going for exactly an hour. Yeah, fucking I, I fucking hell. I thought we was in here for about 15 minutes. Are you not playing Destiny? Are you not playing Destiny? No, I'm not playing Destiny. Oh, I suppose we should think about dinner, actually. I'm not dinner. What's wrong with you? I, mate, I've been servicing this Xbox and playing Project Zero again. And, you know, I've been living life. <laughs> no, I haven't. Shit. No, uh... <laughs> Where's my, where's my where's my eight hundred for the tablet? You haven't even bought it yet. 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 Look, like I'm getting I'm getting lit now. I'm getting lit. Piss off. Yeah. I'm gonna get these Nerf guns out in a minute. Right, I better wrap this up because someone's getting rest. <laughs> Suck my big fat schlong. You see here, this is what I got to deal with. Do your missus ever tell you to suck her dick? No, she hasn't got a dick. Ah, see, his missus doesn't have a dick. Well, that's what you get for getting male order bride, mate. Yeah, I know. Well, they, they grow them differently in France, apparently. Huh? I'm not, I'm not you use yeah, you use yours as a belt, yeah. <laughs> I just carry mine over my shoulder all day. <laughs> oh, it no, it's just heavy. It does my back in after a while, you know. <laughs> All this weight between the legs. <laughs> I'll be in in a minute. Go put Netflix on. Well, yes, boss. All right, right. I better wrap this up. She's restless and bored. So it's Netflix time. Cobra Kai. Watch it. It's amazing. I actually was looking at it. Um, Have you not watched finish, it? She's finishing a. Uh, eh? Have you not watched it? No. Then. No, I was just I was looking through Netflix because Laura's finishing up a, a series she's watching at the minute, um, and I was looking at like what I might watch next, and I was thinking oh, I might go for Cobra Kai. It I've been is. watching too many serial killer programs. I've watched loads of them lately. Oh, yeah, light entertainment. Oh, mate, I do. I love. I love it. Any yeah, any yeah. like documentaries about like serial killers and stuff. I I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I like really morbid murder. Yeah, no, I, I, I like uh, serial killers and torture and document. Oh, wow, we watched all this fucking weird shit. Um, Cobra Kai, though, uh, do you remember the Karate Kid much? I do. You, I know you, what it is, and yeah. I know about, you know, who's in it and all the rest of it. It's um, all the original cast, and it's how they do the flashbacks, and fucking watch it. Just watch it. It's so No, good. I think I will. You know how hard it is for me to get into a series. I don't watch anything. We watched Cobra Kai because every cunt at work's on about it. So uh, we we started watching it, and we watched the first season that night. I've never done that with anything. 
and I can't wait to go watch mm. some more. It's it's really is good. It's got the right amount of humour in it as well, and it's quite dark. And there's a bit of role reversal if you remember the original films, which I won't go into. And the characters are just played so well, and the fact that they're all the original actors as well. Ah, oh. watch it. I'm gonna go watch oh, it well. now. I'm gonna go watch it now. Anyway, I better go because uh, I'm gonna get my dapped. This has been good, actually. Uh, I'll actually pop over and see you next week. Yeah, yeah, pop over. Uh, as long I'll as tell you can... what happened with the housing people today. <laughs> yes, I was gonna. Yes, how is that Brexit. with the trouble, troublesome neighbours? Yep. <sighs> I, I, yeah. I can't believe you're still having issues with those people. But the, it's so difficult to get anything done with these people, though, isn't they it? They literally can't do... They, it's like no one can do anything about anything. Mm. It's ridiculous. Well, we've... This is a really reputable part of town, apparently, but we've got a whole load of druggies a uh, few doors down from us. Oh, you get them everywhere. Yeah, they... they can't s- escape them. No, they sit on the stoop outside, and they're off their fucking heads. And, you know, every now and again, I'll have my window open, just the stink of weed would just blow in, which, you know, that's whatever. But it's the other stuff they do as well. It's fucking... Oh, humans, eh? Humans. I say, you can't escape it, mate. No, no. Anyway, this has been good. Uh, right on, Shaq. We've, I've, I've got to make this into a video now. An hour and five minutes. Cool. Well, I'm sure you can trim down some bits of it anyway. Nah, maybe as is. I get in trouble if I trim stuff out. I, I did ask, and they're like, no, upload the whole thing. I was like, okay. Uh, yeah, so this will be a rant on, nin- I don't even know, what, what topics did we talk about? It was like Nintendo Next Generation, really, isn't it? Uh, yeah. The future of consoles. The future of consoles. Well, most. So we're kind of talking about most things, where they might be going and what we think might be happening. But and then divulge just into a rant about how two guys that have no information or facts to go on yeah i think nintendo about. will do this I this think is what Sony they'll do do that i know yeah. exactly what they're gonna do fuck all i the think experts. they're gonna go back to back to cartridge systems at 16 bits oh that would be a lot that would be interesting wouldn't it no that would be a surprise wouldn't it yeah <laughs> yeah like yeah. and somehow it would sell millions of units Oh, if Nintendo did it, it would. Yeah, Even yeah. if it's absolute shit. Well, it would be shit if they went back to it, to be honest. Oh, fucking hell. Anyway, I'll catch Right, you, you go. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to go. go. Um, and, yeah. are you, are you, you're not working tomorrow, are you? No, I'm off tomorrow. Yeah, right on. Uh, yeah, if you're free, whenever, just let me know and pop up. Yeah, right on. Right on, brother. I'll catch you soon, bud. Right, speak to you in a bit, Ty. Cheers, buddy.